This movie tells a story about Dr. Randall Mindy and Kate DiBiaschi, two astronomers who must go to the White House and media to warn mankind of an approaching comet that will destroy planet Earth. This satire is meant to be an allegory for climate change and how those in positions of power seem to be willfully ignorant about the looming crisis. But it could just as easily serve as a satire of Donald Trump administration's incompetence reaction to COVID-19. First of all, a good satire should use irony, humor, and exaggeration to maximize the impact. Unfortunately, this movie is terribly lacking in all fronts. It's all too obvious. There's no depth, nuance, or any sort of intelligent curiosity. The movie is opting to razzle-dazzle the audience with lots of fast talk, pseudo-cleverness, and cartoonishly obvious characterizations. Most audience will easily find the movie's dicks at the indifference of the White House administration, the greed of a monolithic tech company, and the outsized influence of social media, but all of them without any humor quality. It's a tire with a sledgehammer, which sometimes decided that its audience was stupid. The movie doesn't know how to get its points across without slapping you in the face and shrieking in your ears. This frantic satire is lazy, fragmented, ham-fisted, witless, and it's absolutely exhausting. The idea of the United States government choosing profit over the lives of everyone on earth is absolutely believable here in this hell world we call home. Unfortunately, this movie takes such a clumsy approach to spelling this out that it annoys rather than enlightens. The movie actually starts promisingly. Kate found the comet and called Randall before they are rushed to Washington DC. The president and her chief of staff don't really pay attention to them. Getting frustrated, Kate and Randall make their case in the mass media. This is when the movie starts to crumble. In the script's manically busy idea of plot development, the life-threatening discovery gets undermined by a whole world of heedless arrogance. The film gets so cluttered with surplus characters and gratuitous star casting that any satirical half is pretty much steamrolled. It doesn't have anything meaningful to say about the human condition because there aren't any humans in it, they are all just caricatures. Sometimes the movie feels like it's written by someone who spent too much time on Liberal Democrats' fan page than observing the real human behavior. This movie boasts more A-list celebrities than actual laughs. All the star-studded cast giving their best, but the script and the direction undercut them at every turn. The movie employs a distracting editing style here, where the camera is constantly cutting. No shot can linger longer than a few seconds, which make the movie feels hectic and frantic. The movie also likes to cut away from scenes while characters are mid-sentence, which probably done for comedic effect, but unfortunately not funny at all. Overall, this movie is a dull and slog comedy. It's a waste of many talents involved. It's annoying and not funny at all.